right, y'all, we're out here perch fishing, striper fishing, and this is what we're working with today. I caught a bunch of sand crabs yesterday at Ocean Beach. They're soft shell, and I caught about 30 of them in about five minutes, all with my hand. They were all on top of the water. Oh, I'm gonna load up on soft shells today. Here's another one. That's three in a row. Oh, here's another one over here. Oh, baby, I must look like a, like a, oh, that's a huge one. Look at that one. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get some stripers today too, maybe. Look, they're everywhere. Man, I must look like a little fool running around here, but, oh, look at this. Look at that one. That one's a soft shell. He is huge. Dude. Oh my god, here's another one. Look, they're everywhere. Oh my god, I'm loading up right now. Here's another one. And it's huge too. Holy moly, I just hit the jackpot. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to load up on soft shell sand crabs for a long time. Oh, here's another one. Running around in circles. Oh my goodness. This one's big. Look at that one. There's another one. Oh, I love it when I hit the silent sand crabs. Look at these. They're all soft shell. Look at that huge one. Look at this. Look at that one. That one's huge. Soft shell sand crab, baby. Let's go. So I got about 25 baits and I can catch some more in the surf. Uh, but first things first, a couple things I want to mention. I want to give a shout out to More Than Fishing. He's a local Bay Area YouTuber and he's having a fishing tournament coming up on July 14th at Sharp Park. There's prizes and giveaways, so I'm going to be participating in that. So if you're around the area, it would be great to see you guys around there. You can check out More Than Fishing YouTube channel or search him on Facebook and he'll come right up. One more thing before I get into the rig, I'm having this big event at Outdoor Pro Shop in Cotati, California. First 200 people to show up will get a free hat or a free t-shirt. June 9th at Cotati from 9 to 1, 200 hats, 200 t-shirts, raffles every hour on the hour with a big rod and reel giveaway at 1 p.m. So if you can make it there, I would love to see you guys meet the viewers of this channel. But today, this is what we're using. I'm using a slider rig, kind of like Carolina rig, except it's got this slider on it. I'm gonna be putting a one ounce to two ounce weight on this sliding rig. Got a bead here going to a swivel and about 22 to 24 inches. This is 30 pound fluorocarbon. Now I know when a lot of people fish for perch, they use really light line, 10, 12 pound mono, 10, 12 pound fluoro, but man, Every time I fish like that, I get this leader tangled up in the weight. And something like this, a lot less likely you get snagged. I can uh, tangled. I can fish like this all day and it'll stay perfectly in line. Won't get tangled, won't get twisted, won't get kinked up. Let's get fishing. I, I don't want to be talking too much. High tide is at 10. It's 9.30 right now, so I would have liked to get here a little bit earlier, but I got to do what I got to do. So let's cast out. Hope to get some stripers in perch. All right, well, we're just gonna start off the day good. Grab a big old sand crab right here. They're still live and kicking. Caught them yesterday, kept them in my fridge. One time, straight through the belly. That is it. All right, y'all, let's see if we can get a fish to bite. It's a little bit more rough than I would like, but. I don't know. If they're here, they're here. It's just a, the waves are just crashing a little bit harder than I'd like. I mean, if I were a perch, I would not want waves just banging down on my head every 10 seconds. I don't know, I'm already thinking that it's gonna be a little bit rough right here to fish how I'm fishing. So I'm gonna keep walking, see if I can find a hole where the waves aren't breaking so hard. So this is really weird. I just saw some crows feeding on this thing. Tell me, is that not a sturgeon? Is that not a baby sturgeon? Out here in the ocean? What's it doing washing up on shore in the ocean? Huh, weird. All right, y'all, I'm at a new spot now, and there's a big hole. That's a hole right in front of me. See to the left where it gets all super shallow, all that white water? Right over here, it gets deep, and no white water comes in. And that's a deep hole, so there could be a, potentially a lot of fish right there. Over there, it drops down again, and there's a lot of white water also. So boom, that's where I'm fishing, in this hole. So let's do this. I'm only gonna hook it one time, straight through the belly out through the back, closer towards the back of the body so it stays alive. That should catch a fish right there. Yep, there's a bite right there immediately. 
take a look where this fish bit my bait. See all those legs? They're all off because the fish bit all right here. Maybe I'm gonna do it this way. I'll put the hook through its backside so it comes out, out its head like that. Let's try again. All right, so I've got one more little honey hole that I'm gonna go to right now. Not really feeling this place. Last spot of the day. Let's grind it out and see if we can pull out a couple stripers. Or at least some perch, maybe even a smelt, man. But stripers for sure. There it is. There's a striper, baby. That's gotta be a striper, man. That's no way there's, that's a smelt. First striper of the year, coming up on the sand, on the sand crab, paying off. Let's go on the size four hook. I don't want to lose him now. Just gonna keep tension on it. Got the steelhead rod. Doesn't feel huge, but I'm almost certain that it's a striper. Yeah, it's a baby striper. Come on, let this next wave carry him in for me. That's a keeper too. Yep, that's a keeper. You know, that's a good, that's a good 20 inches or so. Let's even let this guy go. All right, y'all, as I progress through the day, let me show you how I'm rigging these guys up now. So like I said, this front part, or actually this is the back, and that's where this butt is. This is the head. So if he has a brain, it's right up here. And this is its spine right in the middle. That's what I'm thinking. So I don't want to put the hook directly through the spine, and I don't want to put it too far ahead or else I'll kill it. So I'm gonna put it near the back, near the butt, on the side of its body. And you can see that he's like, ouch, that hurt. What happened? But he's still alive, kicking. So I'm gonna do that same thing, get another one, and uh, catch a fish. I know a lot of people are pretty hardcore fishing the bucktail and fishing SP minnows, and plugs, and lures. I'm honestly not that good at that kind of fishing, but give me a sand crab, give me a Carolina rig, I'll catch some fish. Probably the most beginner friendly type of fishing too if you want to go for stripers or perch. Really fun, really active, you're fishing, you're holding the rod a lot, you're moving around a lot. And you catch more fish in my opinion than, than uh, you know, cast masters, bucktails. There's a fish, oh, a little smelt I think. Oh, I got him. I think this is a little smelt right here. Or a perch, a little perch, a little red tail perch. I was actually using these bigger hooks to try to isolate the stripers from the smelt and the perch, but look how he bit it. All you need is that little hook tip to get in the fish's mouth and you got him. Let's release him. Looks like he's got some babies in him. A little barred perch. Let's get a release on her. Just a smelt or a perch or something small. Little old smelt. Hope I never see you again. Oh, that's a big smelt. Well, I saw you again. I was hoping I wouldn't. I'm hoping there's a striper mixed in the bunch. All right, I need some more bait. Here's one, rolling down. I got you, sucker. Here's another little tip. When you're using a light weight like this, everything, your whole rig is gonna get washed around in the water. So sometimes it'll get pulled towards you, sometimes it'll get pushed away, but you always want to keep some tension on your line or else you won't be able to feel the bite if there's slack in it. So if it gets pushed towards you, reel in, keep that line tight. Yet another one. Farewell. 
We're just smelt galore out here. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, chill, or I'll do to you what I did to the other smelt. All right, one of these is going to be a striper. Oh, this is a striper, baby. Oh, yeah, let's go. Striper. Hooked up on the striper, baby. Feels good. Woo, taking drag. Let's go. Oh, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Get in here. Come on, man. Let's go. All the way, all the way in. Come on in. Come on in. Let's go, man. That's the keeper right there. Hell yeah. There we go. Perseverance, baby. That was uh, two sand crabs, two soft shell sand crabs. Man, that's nice. What is that, 24 inches? Hell yeah. Let's give him a measure and I'm just gonna release him. So he is 22 inches, not bad. West Coast striper right here. That would be a good eater, but you know, I'm really not that fond of striper. So man, this is what's up, low tide right now. It's about to start incoming right now. Sand crabs, baby. Let's go, let's release him. And he's gone. Let's go. That was fun. All right, let me show you this. So this is a the big hole right here. It's deep, the color of the water is darker. Over there, it gets shallow. But right along here, there's this rip current and you can see all the foam, all the white water on top being pulled out. So I cast it right in there. First time I cast it in there, got a striper. Now I never really took striper fishing or perch fishing seriously in the past. Like as far as tides and stuff go, keeping track of that. But I really am going to start doing that now. So I'm marking down what time I caught that fish, 1.30. And I'm comparing it to the high and low tide. So I'm going to keep a log book from now on. So I can look here, if I catch any fish, then I'll, I'll find out a pattern and I'll try to go only when the tide is right, when the wind is right, and just keep track of all the conditions and try to isolate those times where the fishing is on. All right, y'all, so for the takeaway from this video is that stripers will bite on sand crabs and also this 30 pound leader did not get tangled once, not once, yeah. Get out here and do this. It's not too hard. Carolina rig, one to two ounce weight, cast out there, not even that far. You're probably gonna get a fish. Smelt, perch, or whatever. Also, got to persevere, had a lot of smelt, and we pushed through that and finally got a striper. So, try again tomorrow. I'm trying to bug you while you're fishing, Matt. I'm, I'm Patrick. Patrick. So, P on YouTube. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah, What's no, up, man. No, How I figured that was that. No, I'm just walking. I'm, I work right over here, so I'm taking a break, walking for lunch and everything. Oh, like okay, cool. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Right now. Yeah, yeah. All I right. caught caught a little striper here yesterday. Yeah. Sand crabs. Dope.